Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Tivedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of last segment. Consider the following statements about the foreign investment facilitation portal. It facilitates the single window clearance of FTI applications which are through the approval route. This portal is administered by the Ministry of Finance which of the statements given above is or are correct. One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. The correct answer to this question is option A that is one only. Moving on to the explanation. According to the Investment Trends Monitor report of Uniqtard, India witnessed a 13% year-on-year rise, the highest among key nations, in FDI inflows in 2020. The Foreign Investment Facilitation Portal facilitates the single window clearance of FDI applications, which are through approval route. So if we talk about this particular portal, what does it do? It enhances the ease of doing business in India for foreign investment. In the sense, this is a one-stop portal where easily FDI can be approved because of the lack of proper channelization and multiple systems for approval, ease of doing business in India was very low before. But now because of the introduction of this portal, it will be very easy. Moving on, it also says that this portal is administered by the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Moving on to the first question of today's GK. Which of the following ministries is or are associated with the system of urban government, Ministry of Defense, Ministry of Home Affairs? Select the correct answer using code given below. One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. The correct answer to this question is C, that is both one and two. Recently, Rajasthan has become the fifth state in the country to successfully undertake urban local bodies reforms stipulated by the Department of Expenditure Ministry of Finance and has thus become eligible for additional reform linked borrowing. The system of urban government was constitutionalized through the 74th Constitutional Amendment Act of 1992. At the central level, the subject of urban local government is dealt with the following three ministries. Ministry of Urban Development, Ministry of Defence in the case of Cantonment Boards, Ministry of Home Affairs in the case of Union Territories. Moving on, look at the next question. Which of the following is or are examples of neglected tropical diseases? Onchocerasiasis, Schistosomiasis, Mycetoma. So you have to select the correct answer using code given below. One and two only, two and three only. 1 and 3 only, 1, 2 and 3. The correct answer to this question is D, that is 1, 2 and 3. On World NTD Day, 30th of January, that is, India will join the world to light up Kutub Minar as a sign of unity to combat neglected tropical diseases. NTDs are found in several countries in Africa, Asia and Latin America. NTDs are especially common in tropical areas where people do not have access to clean water a safe ways to dispose of human waste. If we talk about the examples, it's Burili, ulcer, Chagas disease, Onchocerciasis, Schistosomiasis and Mycetoma. Also rabies is included in this. Controlling the vectors, examples mosquitoes and black flies that transmit these diseases and improving basic water sanitation and hygiene are highly effective strategies against these NTDs. Moving on to the next question, which of the following committees led to the formation of the National Cadet Corps? H. N. Kunzru Committee, the Padmana Bhaya Committee, Ribeiro Committee, Gore Committee. The correct answer to this question is A. That is H. N. Kunzru Committee. Now, the NCC was formed in 1948 on the recommendation of H. N. Kunzru Committee of 1946 and it has roots in the British era, uniformed youth entities like University Corps or University Officer Training Corps. The NCC falls under the purview of Ministry of Defence and is headed by a Director General of three-star military rank. Now, in this particular status, in this particular statement, 
if you could see that yes ncc falls under the defense ministry ministry of defense that is and it could be distorted in the question that this comes under the ministry of home affairs or it could be asked that and it is headed by director general of two star military rank so you have to be very careful with the numbers as well all right and the different ministries moving on it enrolls cadets at high school and college level and also awards certificates on completion of various phases the ncc cadets receive basic military training at various levels and also have academic curriculum basics related to armed forces and their functioning if we talk about the significance ncc cadets have played an important role over the years in relief efforts during various emergency situations during the ongoing pandemic over 60000 ncc cadets have been deployed for voluntary relief work in coordination with district and state authorities across the country moving on to our next question which of the following countries is or are bordered by france belgium italy spain switzerland you have to select the correct answer using code given below 1 and 2 only 2 and 3 only 2 3 and 4 only 1 2 3 and 4 the correct answer to this question is d 1 2 3 and 4 recently the indo french year of environment was launched in new delhi the basic objective is to strengthen indo french cooperation in sustainable development increase the effectiveness of actions in favor of global environment protection and give them greater visibility france borders belgium luxembourg in the northeast germany switzerland and italy in the east the mediterranean sea monaco spain and andorra in the south france also shares maritime borders with the united kingdom and if we talk about the administration of france that is the french in general they share very close relationship with india not only in the environment sector but also in the defense sector it's a very significant defense partner of india so be very careful with the different factors and different facts about france all right moving on let's talk about our next question with reference to proactive governance and timely implementation consider the following statements it helps in simultaneously monitoring and reviewing important programs and projects of the government of india as well as projects flagged by various state governments it has been designed by the pmo in collaboration with the indian institute of public administration which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two neither one nor two the correct answer to this question is a that is one only only the first statement is correct pragati was launched in march 2015 and has been designed by the prime minister's office team with the help of national informatics center and it is an integrating and interactive platform aimed at addressing the common man's grievances it has a three tier system pmo the union government secretaries chief secretaries of the states The Pragati platform uniquely bundles three latest technologies: digital data management, video conferencing, and geospatial technology. So, if we talk about the role of Pragati, this enhances accountability and responsibility, and also strikes at the bureaucratic culture of the colonial era, in the sense that it caters to the needs of the common man. it tries to enhance the empowerment and prestige of the common man and it also keeps a level where checks and balances could be there moving on let's talk about the objectives of it grievance redressal is there program implementation and project monitoring is also there it helps in simultaneously monitoring and reviewing important programs and projects of the government of india as well as projects flagged by various state governments it also offers a unique combination in the direction of cooperative federalism since it brings on one stage the secretaries of government of india and the chief secretaries of the states it is an innovative project in e governance and good governance moving on to our next question consider the following statements with reference to kalautsav 
It is an initiative of the Ministry of Culture. It promotes arts in education by nurturing and showcasing the artistic talents of school students. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. The correct answer to this question is B, that is two only. Kala Utsav National Competition was launched in 2015. It promotes arts in education by nurturing and showcasing the artistic talents of school students. Children with special needs too will have the opportunity to display their talents. Kala Utsav is an initiative of the Department of School Education and Literacy of the Ministry of Human Resources Development. Kala Utsav 2020 was launched online on 10th of January 2021 through a digital platform. The Indigenous Toys and Games segment was introduced in Kala Utsav 2020. This could be a statement that may be asked in your prelims. Consider the following statements about the International Energy Agency. It is a Paris-based autonomous intergovernmental organization established in the framework of OECD. It aims to strengthen mutual trust and cooperation and enhance global energy security, stability, sustainability. It is made up of 30 member countries including China, Brazil and India. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 and 2 only, 2 only, 1 and 3 only, 1, 2 and 3. The correct answer to this question is A, that is 1 and 2 only. Moving on to the explanation, the International Energy Agency is a Paris-based autonomous intergovernmental organization. It was established in the framework of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development in 1974 in the wake of 1973 oil crisis. It aims to strengthen mutual trust and cooperation and enhance global energy security, stability and sustainability. The partnership will lead to an extensive exchange of knowledge and would be a stepping stone towards India, becoming a full member of International Energy Agency, which is made up of 30 member countries. In addition, the IEA family also includes eight association countries, which includes Brazil, China and India. Thus, China, Brazil and India are association countries, but not member countries. Three countries are seeking accession to full membership, Chile, Israel and Lithuania. Moving on to our next question. Consider the following statements with reference to World's Custom Organization. It is the only international body looking after international customs and matters concerning border control. Headquartered in Brussels, Belgium, it is administered, it administered more than 98% of the world trade. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only. Two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. The correct answer to this question is C, both one and two. On January 26, 1953, the Customs Cooperation Council held its inaugural session in Brussels, which was attended by representatives from 17 European countries. International Customs Day was created by CCC in 1983, and in 1994, C was renamed as World customs organization and it is the only international body looking after international customs and matters concerning border control. WCO has headquarters in Brussels, Belgium and it currently has custom organizations from 182 countries as its members. More than 98% of the world trade is administered by WCO. If we talk about the significance of WCO, it seeks to find a liaison and convergence in the custom policies of different countries around the globe in order to find a free-flowing channel of goods and services. Moving on, let's talk about our next question. Consider the following statements with reference to Axiom Mission 1. The flight is being arranged under a commercial agreement with NASA. It will be the first to use a commercially built spacecraft, the SpaceX Dragon 2 best known for flying its first two crews to the ISS. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. The correct answer to this question is D, that is neither one nor two. The three men 
are paying $55 million each to fly aboard a SpaceX rocket for an eight-day visit to the International Space Station organized by Houston-based spaceflight firm Axiom. The Axiom 1 mission is a flight and it is being arranged under a commercial agreement with NASA. The mission will be led by former NASA astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria, who now works for Axiom Space. While private citizens have traveled to space before, the AX mission first will be the first to use a commercially built spacecraft. The SpaceX Dragon 2, best known for flying its first two crews to the ISS late last year. So if we talk about this move, this would be a big way and this would pave a big way for space tourism in the coming future. And of course, that will lead to the commercialization of this particular tourism, right? Moving on, let's talk about our next question. Which of the following companies is or are regulated by Securities and Exchange Board of India? Venture Capital Fund Companies, Merchant Banking Companies, Chit Fund Companies. Select the correct answer using the following codes. 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only, 1, 2 and 3. The correct answer to this question is 1 and 2 only. Moving on to the explanation. Housing finance companies are regulated by the National Housing Bank, Merchant Banker, Venture Capital Fund Company, Stock Exchanges, Stock Brokers, Sub Brokers are regulated by Securities and Exchange Board of India. Insurance companies are regulated by the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority. Similarly, chit fund companies are regulated by the respective state governments and nidhi companies are regulated by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Government of India. Companies that do financial business but are regulated by other regulators are given specific exemption by the Reserve Bank from its regulatory requirement for avoiding duality of regulation. Moving on to our practice question, for our next segment, consider the following pairs. Malacca Strait joins Andaman Sea and South China Sea. North Channel joins Irish Sea and Atlantic Ocean. Strait of Gibraltar, Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea. Which of the pairs given above is or are correct? 1 and 2 only, 3 only, 2 and 3 only, 1, 2 and 3. So, I hope you'll be able to answer it correctly in the comment segment. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.